so all right, everybody, we are back. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you all know my first guest from Goodfellas, as I mentioned, something wild, blow. He's now starring in the critically acclaimed new movie, Narc. Please welcome Ray Liotta. <laughs> Great to have you here. I have, um, I, I have my daughter with me. She's four years old. Your daughter's old. this yeah, tall and she's four? She watched one of the Muppets. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Your I kid's said, backstage which, I said which one? She said the one is dancing. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Good. That's good. You said they're just dancing. That's good. <laughs> Sorry, we did that. Thanks a lot. Going in. Sorry, buddy. That's the kind of show we have here. <laughs> it's, it's good it's better than to bring kids around. <laughs> Speaking of kids, uh, anything fun for the holidays? You, uh, I know you're doing a lot of work. You're promoting this film, right. but you get to do anything fun? Yeah, actually, relaxing? I took uh, my wife's work in, in L.A. She had to stay there, so I went down to visit my dad in, uh, in Florida, and we went up to Disney World. Oh! So I took her to Disney World. Do you like Disney? I, it's so funny, because I'm just picturing you at Disney World, and I associate you tough, gritty. You know, you always play these very intense roles, and now I'm picturing you... Well, I, cu I cut in line, definitely. <laughs> You're like you, uh, me, out, down, got it. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, they have a way. If you win anybody who has a, somewhat of a visibility, they, they sneak you in, go on the exits. Uh, you go on the exits and then you cut in line, which is great. You get a lot of bad stares, but then I just stare back. Yeah. <laughs> which doesn't look too good when you're sitting in like a giant kitty cat, you know, and you're, <laughs> you're staring well, back. No, no, no. Like... The trouble I have, the biggest trouble I have is with the Dumbo ride. The because, Dumbo yeah, ride? I don't like heights. So, I don't know if you've ever been on a Dumbo ride, but it's not very high, but, you know, Carson wants to go. I said, all right, we'll go. Uh, and she controls it, and, and, and here I am. You think I'm tough? Not at all. I mean, I get really nervous in a Dumbo ride. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I mean, if, I, if memory serves me correct, it's been a couple years, but the Dumbo ride, it gets like eight inches off the ground. Oh. <laughs> no, you're in a big Dumbo, and you're like, no, make it stop. No, it's high. It's like as high as the lights there or something. Those yeah, lights aren't no, too high, like buddy. <laughs> And then, and then they have this other ride, they have this Aladdin ride, and, uh, and then they have a camel that spits at you. No, they don't. Yeah, no, they, they got the camel, and, it, and it's spitting water out, and what you have to do is you have to control the, 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 the lever, and so you don't get spit, or I guess if it's hot out, you want to get spit on, because it's hot, you want to cool off. But uh, there's another uh, ride there that I don't like. This sounds like a terrible, <laughs> sounds like a nightmare for you. <laughs> Did it end up with you punching the camel at the end? You spit no. at me? Uh, let's talk about this movie, Narc. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I tried to go see this movie yesterday, couldn't get in, which is always a good sign. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't sold out, they just wouldn't let me in. <laughs> <laughs> They've watched the show and they don't like me. No, no, I couldn't get in, and then, uh, so I got a tape and I watched it, uh, I watched it today, oh. and I, I really love this movie. Oh, but it is an intense, intense movie. Yeah, it's very raw. It's yeah. raw. It's a really great story. Uh, it's about a cop, someone who's very close to me gets murdered, and myself and Jason Patrick, we try to figure out who the bad guys are. And the biggest thing you notice when you put it in, the first thing you notice is that you clearly gained a lot of weight for this role. Yeah, I put on about 20, 25, but I'm also wearing pads and heavy makeup under the eyes, shaved into my head, I wore, I'm wearing lifts. It was really a lot of fun to do a character part like that. How do you I'm headed that way anyhow, so I might as well start. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get taller? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying, I look, at, I look at you in that movie and I think, how do you gain the weight, first of all, and is it fun to gain the weight? Part of me thinks that might be kind of fun to be told, like, you get to gain a lot of weight. Totally. Right well, you gain it by eating. <laughs> People think I'm an idiot. First time Senor Del Talk Show. Yeah, last talk show. Yeah. yeah. And now, how do you gain no, weight you, by you, eating? Just... Incredible. <laughs> uh, you lose it by exercising. No, but like, but what kind of, by exercising it goes down. Uh, I love that when they tell you, like I saw a news program yesterday that said, learn how to lose weight, you know, and so I, I just watched it because I thought they are going to have some new trick and they are like, eat less, exercise more. Uh, so how, but what, what specifically did you do to gain the weight? Uh, well, you just, you really, it's, it's, it's carbs. You, you stay with the, the breads, the butters, the pastas any time that you want. Usually when you want to lose weight, you stop by, by lunchtime, shouldn't have any bread or anything like that after. And you just go, you just go for it. And then another trick to really look like you're full if you haven't eaten enough that night, or, or what you do is eat Chinese food, a lot of salt, or a lot of soy, and what, you, what it does is retains water and it makes you even puffier. Because your face was kind of chubby oh, for the part. Oof, yeah. 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 Um, my face is always fat, but no. you actually had it. No, I got one of those Irish heads that's just on autopilot. It's just, what? It's true, it's sad, but it's true. Kind of autopilot? Yeah, saying? it's just getting fat on its own no matter what I do. Um, if, I ate, if I ate nothing, no food at all, my body Gross. would waste away and I'd have a giant popsicle lollipop head. Um, 
So do you ever get self-conscious that you've gained the weight for a role, but if you're out in your private life, people might just think, oh my God, what happened to Ray Liotta? Um, I must be a, depressed. Well, a little, a little. I remember I was doing Copland. I don't, uh, if you ever saw Copland Stallone, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, and I remember going out in New York with him, and he would... Because uh, he, he had to gain a lot of weight. He would go to talk to people, hey, how you doing? I gained weight. I'm doing a movie. He would just come out and tell them right away. I, I really wasn't that uh, self-conscious about it. He must have been insecure about well, it. Well, just a touch, yeah. He's like, it's for, <laughs> it's for a role. I'm just fat this way for a yeah. role. He did, yeah, but I put on about 20, 25 pounds for this eating. Do you also, very low budget on this movie? Yeah, we did it for under five, which is considered low. We shot it in 28 days, which is really fast. Right. And then what happened is it's just taken on, taken on this whole pro, uh, profile. Tom Cruise saw it. He really liked it. He got, uh, he's uh, executive producing it. Uh, Paramount's releasing it. So this little independent movie that we did for under five in 28 days is, uh, has a really high profile now. And one of the ways that you did it so cheaply is you actually filmed people who didn't know they were in a movie. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. You had Jason Patrick go out, and there's a scene where he's right. looking for somebody, he's holding up a picture, and you're using real people. Is that right? Right, yeah. What, what happens, we wanted, uh, the last day, the movie takes place in Detroit, but of course, because we had no money, we shot it in Toronto, so... I was wondering, there's a lot of Canadian <laughs> Mounties riding through, <laughs> holding flapjacks. It's very... So what, so what they did is they went to uh, Detroit and, and they wanted, it was the scenes where they were, were looking for a certain uh, guy and holding up pictures. And what they did is they, they got a badge from a cop, they shot from a van, and then they were uh, going up to strangers just asking if you'd seen that guy. Obviously they hadn't, so we got the right reaction that we needed. Uh, Would have been weird if just a random person oh, yeah, no, like, I know, I know that guy, he's over here. <laughs> Pulled out a gun and came with you. <laughs> that would be bad. And then you have to go up to those people afterwards, I imagine, and say, guess what, we just shot you for a, a film. No, and... I don't think we did. <laughs> We're low budget, man. Sounds they illegal. They could have had their hand out. <laughs> um, we have a clip here uh, from the movie. What, what do we need to know to um, clip anything? Jason is going. He, wants to, uh, he goes to the wife of the officer that was slain. This person, she's very close to me, and I don't like it, and I let him know it. Okay, let's take a look at this uh, clip from NARC. What are you doing talking to her without me being here? Brought her husband's things up. Yeah, you questioned her. What for? What for? Smother, may I? You said we're going to do some of this on our and own. Some right? of this doesn't extend to her. Get out of if my you face. need to know what she said about anything case related, you refer to the file. Yeah, I looked at the files. They're thick. What you don't do is talk to her without notifying me in advance. That's not the way we do things. Why is that? What's the problem with me speaking? To because her? the problem is every question you ask her, she's already answered. You understand? I understand that. Great. Don't let it happen again. You get people's attention when you yell at them. That's, <laughs> that's how I was in Disneyland. <laughs> you were like that for every Disney ride. Yeah, yeah. Really. I'm not going on this ride, you understand? <laughs> Did, uh, you have to be, I mean, you have, people just watching that scene think, okay, well, we brought that intensity to that scene. That's you, the whole movie. You are angry and on edge the whole movie that's got to be really hard to sustain like where do you get that energy every day to do that uh, uh well we ran out of money on the movie so every night we were chasing down to find out where the where the, where the money was and sometimes at eight o'clock in the morning like you say you're just not in the mood I mean, i've been in one fight my whole life in seventh grade that's it so i gotta pretend this stuff but i was so mad because we didn't have the mo the, the, the money so uh, that, that would help me out <laughs> so you were channeling that the financial problems some days i would just lift up my shirt and look at how much gate i weighed that would make me mad so, so there's, there, there's just a lot of a lot of different tricks you use. You gated a lot of Wayne there. <laughs> Is that what I said? You just said that, yeah. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, what I said? Clearly, Ray, right, you had a happy new year. <laughs> I gated a lot of Wayne. Yes, you gated a lot of Wayne. Uh, you're you know, cut, you you're had cut that um, part out, right? Yeah. No, I don't uh, think we will. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of. Um, I gated a lot of Wayne. You know what you hear? Like some people try and say there's Oscar buzz about a movie, but they're lying. You know, like right. there, there's some actors that are out there, and Paulie Shore's like, I got a lot of Oscar buzz going on. You're like, No, you don't. Come on, man. Biodome Four. But you. <laughs> A lot of people are talking about this movie. This movie came out of nowhere. Are you suspicious about that kind of talk, or do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy having people say, hey, maybe there's an Oscar nomination in here somewhere? Yeah. No, it's, no. <laughs> it's nice, you know. It's kind of yeah. like being a baseball player and, you know, not wishing you could hit a home run. I mean, it, it, it's part of what we do. It's, it's, right. it's, it's a nice thing. I mean, it helps bring a profile to the movie. If that would happen, that would be great. And if not, you know, just get it a little more Wayne. What else? <laughs>
We're gonna have to look at the tape to see exactly what happened there. Uh, Narc is pow neighing in select theaters. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It will, uh, in the commercial, you're just gonna be hitting me in front of the audience. <laughs> like a funny tough guy, it will open nationwide next Friday. You should go see this film. It's, it's very intense, it's very good. Ray Liotta, thank you very much for being here. Maggie Gyllenhaal coming up. We'll be right back. That was great, that was good.